You've heard of lemon teching mushrooms, but did you know that orange juice may actually hit faster? In this video, I'll show you the orange juice method, why it works, and how it compares to other mushroom prep methods. I'm Aaron, a bioengineer and licensed psilocybin facilitator. Trip Time Essentials is dedicated to psychedelic education and harm reduction. It's not medical advice, and we never encourage the use of illegal substances. Weigh out your dosage of mushrooms using a highly sensitive scale, preferably down to the milligram. Grind your dried mushrooms to a coarse powder. A coffee grinder works best for this, although you can also use a manual herb grinder, mortar and pestle, or any other method if you're in a pinch with no coffee grinder. Pour in enough orange juice to cover the material fully. Freshly squeezed or store-bought, both will work. It is probably easiest to just use a full eight ounce or one cup of orange juice. Let it soak for five to 10 minutes, stir it a couple times and let it soak. Drink the whole mixture, juice and powder together. There's no need to strain it, although you can with a cheesecloth if you prefer to get rid of some of the mushroom material. This can and probably will further reduce the nausea, but it also will probably reduce some of the active material and the experience. Effects usually start within 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes even sooner. So what's going on here? Well, usually when you consume mushrooms, your stomach converts the psilocybin into psilocin. Psilocybin is the primary compound in magic mushrooms, but it's psilocin that actually binds to the serotonin receptors and causes the psychedelic effects. Acidic environments speed up that conversion. Things like orange juice with a pH of around 3.5 to 4 is just acidic enough to promote a more complete conversion of psilocybin to psilocin before it even hits your stomach acid. Research from Rose City Labs shows that complete conversion to psilocin occurs within five minutes. That means faster onset, potentially stronger initial effects, shorter overall duration, typically around three to five hours instead of the four to six hours. One of the main reasons people do this is that it may reduce nausea and purging during the psychedelic experience. We also make a pre-trip product designed to help soothe the stomach and calm the mind. Formulated with 13 active ingredients, check it out in the description below. But how does this stack up against other methods? Well, raw mushrooms have the slowest onset with around 45 to 60 minutes for your classic activation. They also have the longest duration. Lemon tech, on the other hand, preserves some of the psilocybin while starting conversion, and it usually hits in about 20 to 30 minutes and lasts around four to six hours. The orange juice method yields complete psilocin conversion within the first 15 minutes. So it has the fastest onset, sometimes as fast as even 10 to 15 minutes, but the trip may feel more intense up front and fade a little faster on the back end. Orange teching is great if you want a quicker, punchier trip that doesn't last all day. But remember, just because it comes on fast doesn't mean it's less powerful. Always be mindful of your set, setting, and dose. And if you're new to this method, start with a lower dose to see how your body responds. For more breakdowns of psychedelic methods, science-backed insights, and preparation tips, hit that subscribe button and stay up to date for our continued psychedelic-related content. Also, go check out our psilocybin deep dive video to learn everything you need to know about this substance. And thank you for watching. As always, elevate your trip.